DJ Finest. Hi guys, it's the Beast Eo. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you haven't subscribed on my channel, go click that subscribe button to be updated on my latest videos and go follow me on my Instagram account at Luis Eo. So as you have seen on the title, it's a tutorial or I'm gonna show you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So guys, before I have this theme na medyo warm siya. Yan, ganyan yung theme ko before. So, uh, medyo darkish warm siya. And the reason kung bakit pinili ko yung kind of um, theme na yun for my IG is that sobrang dali lang yung i-plan sa feed. Like, kahit anong klaseng pictures, it can go with my feed. My current feed is this one. Nadyan ako sa era na bright pinkish kind of um, theme. So, I feel like this theme speaks more of my personality rather than this one. Kasi I really love pink. And mas gusto ko din talaga yung mga bright colors. Yun, nakaka-happy siya. So anyways, let's start with the tutorial. So guys, I have two editing apps for the filters. And one editing app for planning my feed. So for the editing filters, I use VSEO or Visco. And Lightroom CC. So both are very good and easy to use. User-friendly talaga siya. Hindi siya mahirap i-operate unlike other editing apps na medyo complicated. So first one is VSEO. Yan siya. And makikita nyo na ang dami ko na talagang pictures na inedit. This is my OG editing app. So ito guys yung raw picture. I-import natin and then you can see... This, um, may dalawang dots tapos line. Yan yung for editing. And ayan na yung mga filters niya. And what I like to use is C1, M3, and M5. Yan lang yung mga tatlo ko talagang ginagamit. C1 is more bright. So, I want it to be on the warm, as I have said, on the warm tone. So, I'm gonna use M5. So, yan yung maximum filter niya. But if you wanna adjust it, you can just press it again, the filter itself. And then, ayan yung control niya. Kung gano mo ka gusto. So, you have the control over it. Um, I start on number 8, but if I feel like it's not enough, I go on with 9. With 9. And then, the check mark. And then, after putting the filter, I press this one again. Yan yung pang editing na for exposure, contrast, adjust, sharpen, clarity, etc. So, ang mga gamitin lang natin is... Number one, exposure. So for exposure, on this kind of theme, I want it to be more of dramatic. So if I want it to be more dramatic, babawasan ko yung exposure niya until pinaka max na siguro yung 2. Yan, until 2. Para hindi siya ganun ka bright and everything. See? Meron na agad siyang effect na dramatic. And then for the contrast, I move on with 1. 1 is enough. One is already enough for me. And guys, by the way, this picture is really blurry. Blurry ako dyan. See? Pero sobrang okay nung take na to. So, hinayaan ko na lang. That's why we're editing it, diba? Then, we move on with the white balance. Since gusto ko na yung warm nude tone, dinadagdagan ko lang at least like 2. Yeah. 0 0.2. Dinadagdagan ko na 0 0.2 and that's okay. And then after white balance, I move on with the skin tone. So this is the most important part of my filter. Kasi if you're just gonna use M5, that's totally normal. I mean, pwede na, kahit sino naman pwede maglagay ng M5. But yung skin tone yung nag-iiba mismo ng filter niya. Let me show you. So pabawas guys, you on negative 3. Yeah, negative 3 yung pinaka-favorite ko. Pero if masyado naman siyang reddish na yung ganon, pwede siguro mga 2.5. Or, yeah, I think 2.5. See? Ayan na, mas parang nagiging, parang mas naglalagay siya ng depth dun sa picture. And then check. And then, I usually add green on my other pictures. But for this one, Wala, ayaw ko ng green. But, that's, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this warm effect. If you will long press the picture, makikita mo yung old picture, yung wala pang filter. So, let me show you. Yan yung may filter, and yan yung wala. So, basically, that's it for the VSEO 
Let's move on with the Lightroom CC. So for now, mas invested ako sa Lightroom CC kasi mas marami kang pwedeng gawin. So when you press um, Lightroom, magpapakita na dyan yung lahat ng photos mo. So i-enhance natin tong selfie picture ko. So guys, masyadong bright na yung picture and my face looks pale and I'm on the beach. So I feel like that's sad. I just wanna enhance it more. But I'm definitely sure this is not my real skin tone. Kaya I wanna just edit it a bit. So let's move on with light. So yung light is yung my sun dyan. So I'm not gonna overexpose it since masyado nang bright. You know what I mean? So in negative natin siya. Negative 46 is fine. See? Mas nagpop yung skin ko. Mas nagpop yung lip tint and all. Actually kung okay ka na sa exposure na edit, okay na yan. But anyways, I wanna... Also, edit the highlight. I'm not sure kung masyado kung nakikita nyo yung difference, but for me, sobrang laki ng difference ng my highlight. That's it for the light. And then, we move on with the color. So, with the color, you wanna press mix. Diyan lumalabas yung different kinds of color na gusto mong mas i-saturate or you or luminance. So, for me, I'm wearing um, medyo tan na swimsuit. So, I'm gonna press this one. And I think when I press saturate, yes, mas nag saturate yung color na yun lang. Look. See? Yan yung difference niya. And nakikisabay yung lip tint ko. Best! Kita mo naman. O, oh, ba? Pack. Pero ayoko ng ganyan ka lip tint. So, okay na ako sa 20. Sa 20. Yan. Nagpa-pop na yung swimsuit ko at yung lipstick ko. So, if I'm gonna press this orange side na medyo brown, dyan mo naman pwedeng i-edit yung um, skin color mo. So, if you wanna have some saturation, there. See? Mas gusto ko lang yun ang saturation yung selfie ko. So, yan. 20 lang din. For the you, yan, medyo nag-iiba siya. But, yan, medyo reddish na yung color na yan. So, I'm just gonna leave it on zero. For the luminance, yan yung brightness din. Actually, I'm gonna move on with negative 7. Oh, I don't like pala. Anyways, I'm gonna move on with 0 lang. So, saturation lang yung ginalaw natin for the color. And then, press done. Yung mga temp, tint, vibrant, saturation, more on the picture itself. Hindi siya nakafocus sa isang color lang. I guess that's it. Yeah, I'm fine with this picture. And as you can see, mas vibrant yung color niya. Parang mas HD yung picture Para sa akin, but if you can tell the difference. So, I'm gonna long press it to show you the before picture and now. So, ito yon. See, sobrang pute. Parang, ewan ko, parang hindi makatotohanan. Pero when you edit it or you enhance it with what I have said, mas nagiging mukha tayong tao. <laughs> So, ito yung current theme ko sa Instagram and if na and if curious kayo kung paano ko yung ginagawa, here it goes. So, let's edit this picture yung parang yan. Yan, yung fierce na yan. Anyways, so ito yung i-edit natin. And then, actually guys, meron ako nakaready na mga preset. So, this preset, I made it on my own. For these presets, ng twitch twitch lang ako ng mga exposure, saturation, etc. So, ito yung mga kinalabasan niya guys. OMG, masyadong yellowish, I don't like. LOL, try lang. <laughs> masyadong dark. Haha, <laughs> sobra yung exposure. For greens, I don't know kung ba't ko sinabi yung for greens. Anyways, and lastly, ito, dito ako nag-settle sa filter na to, or sa preset na to, which is the cutie pink, which I made on my own. Sobrang parang pastel lang siya, sobrang light, sobrang bright. So, I'm gonna show you kung ano yung mga... Kung paano ko to ginawa. So the first thing I edited is the light. So yung exposure niya is on 52, contrast is on 5, and highlights. So I have told you before na highlights is very important kasi it really makes things much better. So yan yung walang highlight and this is yung meron. Mas nag add siya dun sa theme ko. And yun, sa picture ko. And shadows is 50. Ang dami ng shadows. Yan, see? Masyadong contrasty or masyadong sharp yung picture. But when you... Um, put 
shadows on 50, para mas nagbe-blend yung picture overall. Hindi masyad, hindi siya masyadong harsh. Yan. And then, ito yung pinaka-important part with regards sa preset sa Lightroom na nakikita ko na yun sa lahat ng YouTube videos na tutorial about Lightroom. So, this is yung curve. So, yan yung curve. You have red, green, and blue. So, yan. Actually, ginawa ko siya on my own. I just experimented. And I'm not sure if I can do this for you again. But, ayan na yung curve niya for red. If you want, gayahin, um... Screenshot yun na lang kasi I really don't know the meaning of each dot. But yan yung red ko. Medyo parang straight line na hindi. For my green, mas curvy siya. So, screenshot yun na lang, guys. If you want. Yung blue yung mas thin witch ko. So, yun, guys. Try nyo lang para mahanap nyo yung personality nyo sa filter nyo. Mag-experiment lang kayo dyan, katulad ng ginawa ko. So, yun. And then, press done. So, for the color, guys, it really depends on anong yung gusto nyong i-highlight dun sa picture. If you want... So, for me, I want to highlight on the grass and on my top, which is green. So, I move on with the green one and add saturation. There. And that's it, guys. Yun na yun. Light and color lang sa Lightroom. And ang pinaka-important part is yung curve, as I have said. So, let me show you yung before and after. This is the before picture. Sad. And this is the picture now. Brighter, more iya, more me, more happier. Diba parang mas happier yung filter ko ngayon? So that's it guys for this video. I hope na nakatulong ako. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye, love lots!